We often get asked about whether or not the heart surgery can be done through a minimally invasive technique. This is something that is largely only possible for valve procedures, very, very uncommon, or almost never for coronary bypass, but for valve procedures, most of the time we can do this using minimally invasive techniques. I usually warn patients and doctors to be very careful about this term minimally invasive because I don't really find anything minimally invasive about going on the heart-lung machine, stopping the heart, opening it up to repair or replace a valve. But we can offer the patients um, a different uh, type of surgery where they have either a smaller incision um, or less invasive surgery so that they can ba get back to activity sooner. For the mitral valve, we would typically do um, an incision through, um, through the ribs, a very small rib incision, kind of in the right side of the chest. And that is really um, very nice for patients who want to get back to full activity. Usually they're back to unrestricted activity at about three weeks, as opposed to full breastbone splitting surgery. That's really probably about three months before you're back to completely unrestricted activity. For the aortic valve, we wouldn't go through the side. We would either go through a small incision right on the top of the breastbone and kind of divide only a third of the breastbone, or we can also do it through a small rib incision here. So we do have ways of, of decreasing the impact of the invasiveness of the heart surgery, but I think it would not be appropriate to say, well, this is minimally invasive, so it's less risky. It's really the same risk as typical open heart surgery, but the recovery time is much better.